Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting network lab tutorial. So today we are going to configure speed, duplex and VLAN settings on the network interface of Cisco device. So today we are using uh, 2960 switch uh, and we are going to configure the necessary configurations on the switch. So before jumping into the labs, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us the thumbs up and then ring the notification bell if you haven't subscribed please subscribe the channel so now let's get started so in today's lab we are uh, working on the packet tracer 8.1 version uh, focusing on the switch interface configuration so make sure uh, you are uh, ready with the gears uh, you have Cisco packet tracer installed on the system so if you don't have uh, Cisco packet tracer installed uh, there is one more video where which you can refer how to install the Cisco packet tracer you can uh, go to uh, that video I will share the link on the description so let's uh, begin so in today's lab we are going to connect to the switch 0 this is the switch 0 and uh, uh, now what we have to do we have to configure the port type as access uh, we have to configure the speed uh, 200 100 megabits uh, duplex mode will be full duplex and auto auto negotiation we have to disable on the switch on the similar way uh, we have connected multiple switches we have switch 1 and switch 2 which will uh, which will be used in this lab uh, later on so uh, second task uh, i will show you second task will be that pc4 uh, which is connected so you can see the, uh, there are four pcs connected so pc4 is having a ip address 192.168.1.4 uh, that is not able to ping the other pc in the network so we have to check the configurations why it is not happening apart from that we have an uh, we have two more switches so he, uh, here the task is uh, we have to choose the correct cable to connect so uh, as we know that switch to switch to laptop we use a different cable switch to switch we use a different cable so we have to identify which cable need to be connected in between we have to just simply do the connectivity between switch 0 to switch 1 and switch 1 to switch 2 so we have mentioned the port numbers on which interface we have to connect it that is mentioned here fourth and the last task we have to configure two links as a trunk line uh, without using the trunk negotiation between the switches so these four tasks we are going to achieve in today's lab so let's begin so now we take a uh, 2960 series switch okay and uh, we will connect four pcs with that switch so this will be the pc1 and then pc2 pc3 and pc4 these four uh, four pcs are connected so these are the four pcs which are connected to this switch zero uh, so we will connect uh, these PCs uh, with the fast Ethernet port on uh, let's say this is uh, F0 by 0 and similarly uh, we can connect from F0 by 2 to this PC and then this PC to this PC and from this PC to this PC so we have connected all the four PCs uh, uh, with the switch now we will uh, we will configure the ip address let's say uh, we have given the ip address uh, we will define here then uh, we will configure so 192.168.1.1 1 will be on this pc similarly uh, pc2 having the ip address 1.2 a uh, piece PC1, PC2 and PC2 having the IP 1.3 and this PC, last PC having the IP address 1.4. So these are the IP addressing uh, on the device. Apart from that we have two more, two more switches which will be used further in this lab. So this is switch 1 and this is switch 2 and we also have a console connectivity so console connectivity is used to configure uh, the switches locally we can uh, we can configure it from the pc also so uh, we will make a connectivity uh, connectivity between console ports uh, from the switch so let's say uh, this console will be connected to this one similarly from uh, this particular uh, pc will be connected to uh, this console port and uh, this particular PC connected to PC PC4 so these are the console connectivities and now we we are moving into 
the configuration part so first first we have to do uh, we have to connect to switch 0 using the console interface and configures each switch 0 fast ethernet switch port for the operations so we have four four interfaces we have to uh, connect all four pcs which we have already did uh, we will configure the ip addressing on the pcs first so we have to simply double click on the pc we have to go to desktop ip configuration and we will configure the ip address so it's 192.168.1.1 on this pc no need to define the gateway we don't require any gateway because it's a, uh, it's a local connectivity from switch to switch so it will automatically uh, broadcast uh, the traffic so we have now uh, on the second switch we have to configure 1.2 similarly we will configure the ip addressing on other two switches also Uh, now we have configured the IP addressing on all the four uh, PC which is connected to the switch 0. Uh, we will come into the first task where we have to explicitly configure the speed. Uh, what we are going to do, we will uh, fulfill this requirement. So port type will be the access port. So those ports which are connected on the switch, uh, those need to be configured as access port and uh, speed will be the 100 Mbps. Uh, we will check the default configuration also. What is the default port synchronization and we will modify it to 100 Mbps also. After that, we need to configure duplex mode to full duplex and auto negotiation will be disabled. We will come into the switch. So, uh, this is the switch interface. Uh, switch will be look like this when, when it is placed into the racks. Okay, we will uh, click on the CLI option. So in CLI option, uh, by default, uh, you can able to see uh, after boot up, you can able to see the informations, uh, which model it is and uh, what is the MAC address of your switch. Apart from that, it uh, it will show the other informations which is uh, relevant to the switch. Now, now what we will do, we will come into the configuration mode first. So before that, I will show you how the current status of the interface. So we, we can see a show IP interface brief so this command will show you the entire uh, switch uh, having whatever the ports uh, switch have all the configurations it will display so you can able to see the four ports which we are using for the pc uh, those are showing up and the protocol status is also showing up moving to next we will going to configure the required configurations on the interface so first we will uh, uh, we will get into the interface so for before that we uh, we have to go to the configure mode configure terminal so and now we are into the configure mode first we will get into the interface let's say uh, we will take first interface f0 by 1 now we will move into the interface uh, fast ethernet 0 by 1 uh, we have to make this port as an access port so uh, if we check the current status show interface fa 0 by 1 so you can see you can able to see the current state current configurations or current uh, status of the interface the fast ethernet port is up line protocol is up it is showing connected apart from that it will show you the interface bandwidth what uh, how what is the bandwidth it is going to support you can able to see uh, the port is syncing on full duplex 100 mbps so it is by default configurations or default by default it is also syncing on the 100 mbps we, but we are going to force the configurations to 100 mbps apart from that you can able to see the other parameters of uh, this particular interface so you can run do sh uh, show running configuration it will show you the configuration of the entire switch where you can able to see that interface doesn't have any kind of configurations as of now so now we are uh, going to define the below parameters which we are going to configure so first uh, we will do first we will make that port uh, access switch port mode access so this will make that particular interface and access we will define the duplex as full here so, uh, in the picture also you can able to see that interface is swing down now and now we will define the speed also speed to 100 so now we have configured these uh, settings so now if you go to the running configuration you can able to see that interface one having these configurations which was not uh, present earlier the so switch port mode is access uh, duplex is full and speed is 100 mbps so similarly we are, we, we are going to do the same for the other interfaces also so now we will get into the uh, second interface interface 
fast ethernet 0 by 2 so once we are into the fast ethernet 0 by 2 we will uh, repeat the same configurations so now we are into the interface fast ethernet 0 by 2 we will configure switch port mode access and uh, we will configure the duplex as full and speed is 100 similarly we will uh, going to configure it for uh, fast ethernet 0 by 3 Uh, switch port mode will be access uh, speed will be 100 and duplex will be full and, uh, and the last interface 0 by 4 now uh, duplex will be full and switch port mode access and speed will be 100 so we have configured all the interfaces if you run do show uh, do show run so you can able to see these configurations pushed on all the four interfaces which we uh, we have just configured so all the four interfaces are came up now you can check the status in show ip interface brief you can run sh do show ip interface brief so you can able to see all the four interfaces that came up after uh, making the necessary changes did uh, for all the switch port interfaces so coming into the second task we, uh, we will check from pc4 we need to ping to the other network we will check the switch port configuration so let's uh, get into the pc4 first now we we will go to the command prompt so we will check uh, check the ping status for all the other switches now we will ping 192 168 1.1 first so 1.1 is reachable now on the same way 1.2 is reachable and 1.3 uh, 1.4 is the same interface IP address so it is pinging 1.3 we will check the reachability so now you can able to see all the four uh, interfaces are ping uh, pingable or all the four PCs which are uh, connected are reachable and if we do show R minus A you can able to see uh, we are getting the R for 1.1 also 1.2 also and 1.3 also so all the four all the uh, PCs which are connected we are getting the R of that particular PC on the PC4 switch so there is one question how many broadcast domains are there in the network so uh, by default if we have a single vlan it having a one broadcast domain okay but if we if we create a multiple vlans on the switch then it will segregate the broadcast domain so uh, so vlans are used to uh, segregate the broadcast domain you can if you create a multiple vlan so uh, whatever the number you are creating that number of vlan will be the having a separate broadcast domain so coming into the third point uh, choose the right cable to connect uh, connect the devices so uh, crossover cables are uh, usually connected uh, between the two network devices so we we will use the crossover cable to connect these two switches if uh, so we have to connect uh, first interface gig port 0 by 1 to we will connect it to 0 by 1 and then we will connect the other switch from 0 by 2 to 0 by 2 so this way we can connect uh, connect these two switches we will use the crossover uh, crossover cables to connect uh, these particular switches with uh, switches now uh, the last task which we have so configure those two links as a trunk line without using the trunk negotiation between the switches so now what we have to do we have to configure the trunk line between these two these switches so we will get into the switch uh, we will uh, come into the interface gig port 0 by 1 so this is interface gig port 0 by 1 now we have to make this particular switch and switch port as a trunk port so we will uh, give a command uh, switch port mode trunk this will uh, make this particular interface as a trunk similarly we have to get into the switch 2 also to make that particular interface as a trunk now you can able to see that uh, interface came up uh, post changing uh, post changing the status to the trunk port so if if one side we created a trunk and other side it is an access port it will came up okay so now what we are going to do uh, we will make the make this interface also as a trunk port we can configure is this interface as also as a trunk port so similarly uh, you have to type switch port mode trunk so you can validate these configurations also 
So we have configured uh, that gig interface as a trunk port. So now you can uh, run a command show interface trunk. So you can able to see that particular interface is now a trunk interface. And you can run show VLAN also. So uh, over here you can able to see that it is not the part of a default VLAN now. So it is already removed from the default VLAN uh, because it, now it's a trunk port and uh, from 1 to 1005 all the VLANs are allowed from that particular interface. So I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Happy networking.